Um, really, it's just been a lot of summer workouts, um, you know, strength and conditioning work. A lot of we've actually had two practices each week where we go out as a team without coaches, and we actually have a practice script that we use from the spring and go through all those plays as a team without coaches so that we can, you know, coach ourselves and be more into the practice without coaches having to tell us what to do. We're coaching each other. And so pretty much it's just been weight workouts, conditioning, and then those practices. It's been pretty good. Um, I've done a lot of rehab, and uh, it took me a while to get back throwing, but once I got back throwing, the, my arm strength came back pretty quick, and I feel like, uh, you know, I'm ready to go for the season. I wouldn't say 100%. I'd say between 90 and 95%, but if you were to see me go out and throw and play, you wouldn't be able to tell that there's any difference. I'm excited to get started, but um, at the same time, I, you know, I kind of want the experience to last forever. And even though it's not going to, I'm going to make the best of it. Um, for the team to just have a better attitude going into each week and, and of preparation, not even going into the game, but of preparation, because I think um, you know, where you stand as a team during the week will help you will help the payoff on Saturdays and I think that if we can have our mindsets right at the beginning of the week all through the week then we'll have a better chance on Saturdays and um, you know everyone's goal is to make a bowl game and to play in the conference championship and you know that's the goal that I'm going to have as well and individually then I'm just going to say that you know I want to have under 10 interceptions and uh, I want to try and break 4,000 yards passing. I don't know I, I just feel like I maybe rushed a few things during the season last year and forced the ball a little bit and made bad decisions. And if I could just take that out, then I'll just get right back to where I was the first two years. Okay. I feel like um, the receivers were more determined to go get the ball and bring it in every time that, I was, that it was thrown to them. And, um, you know, I was really comfortable throwing the ball, and for some reason the, their defense was keying on Donald and trying to stop the run. So it really opened up our passing game. And, um, seemed like everything that was called worked and the receivers made the plays when it came to them. If, you know, go back and look at the Marshall game, there was a big change in that one game alone compared to the rest of the games during the season that, you know, he really took part in um, making the play happen instead of waiting for it to happen. And um, if that will carry over into the season, which it seemed like it did this summer with his work ethic and um, – all that he has done in all the practices, it should be really good. Donovan Kemp is going to be a breakout receiver this year, I really feel, and him starting at the other side, two really speedy guys on the outside will be really good for our vertical threat in the passing game. Um, really, the receiver that I feel is going to take his position is Evan Davis. He's really, really a good athlete, really good receiver, and he just, you know, um, if he can get his mental aspect of the game in it, then his physical aspect will take over, and he's um, going to be really capable of making those numbers like Jeff did. We've taken into you know in our own hands to try and keep the team on the right on the right page and keep guys out of trouble as a team. We feel like um, the closer we are, the, the closer bond we have, then the, the further we'll make it during the season. Uh, I'm looking to the first game. You know, start of a new season. We just got to get it started out right, and you know, to win the first game will be a, be a big change.